Shay 45 is the We Out Here show. It's one big happy motherfucking family in here, and I'm going to keep it very real with you. In, in radio, there's so many things that you have to do, so many different boards, but when you have good friends and good family in the building, who cares if you didn't record yourself? I'm going to fucking wear that one, but I got family in here, man. This is the Duce Palooza family up in here, and yes, I just, yes. real quick, left to right, you're right, Mr. Chris Styles. So go ahead and introduce yourself real quick. Yeah, we just did this. <laughs> we, did. we did. Chris is like, yo, I went ahead, I shot That's my crazy. shot, baby. I don't got <laughs> nothing <laughs> else. No, no I'm I'm with you, fuck with you, baby. Take. You already know what time it is, man. It's Chris Dallas, Do Say Palooza, Trapped Anonymous. I'm in the building. You know what time it is, Young King. It's the viral god. You know what it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Again, I never know how to follow that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my name is Cam. I am the founder, uh, co-creator of Duce Palooza, coolest kid out on all socials, and I'm happy to be in the building with my brother Greg. My man. Right. This is uh, Chris Styles' friend Rory, <laughs> the GM of Duce Palooza. Stupid, you gotta change his at to Chris Styles. <laughs> it's gonna be my new bio on Twitter. Uh, oh, this man. is uh, Low Key, Low Key UH10 on all socials, co-founder of Duce Palooza and co-host of Duce Palooza. Proud to be repping the squad with my team right here. You know, I feel like, um, I guess when in entertainment, man, there's times when you see a lot of cats that get the cross and they're actually really friends. You know what I'm saying? And it's good to meet on these types of platforms. But I've been watching you guys for well over five years. You've been tearing up cities across the country in a great way. Everybody, for how long have parties not have people dancing and sweating anymore and every time i see some of y'all events that's exactly what is going on sometimes a little bit too much yeah. I've, I've smelled them <laughs> on the way out <laughs> but you know s- salute on do say palooza now thank yeah. you thank you man so how did how did all that come about i'm gonna start with you cam how did that how did that happen um so this may have happened this has been in the works for years so um lenny s is a good friend of all of ours and you know, we would jokingly go back and forth about, you know, Duce. Lenny would always come to the event, ask us to sneak his Duce in, which Rory and Lowe would proudly do <laughs> through, the, through the back door, you know. So for us, it was always just like a timing thing and like, you know, when the time was right. And so we kind of felt as we were growing over the past five years, especially um, last year in year five, that we needed to elevate, you know what I'm saying, and like take this to the next level. And because for five years, we've done it like you said as friends but we've done it by ourselves like Mm -hmm. you know we've done it with no help but the help of each other so for us it was important to actually get with somebody who gets us and who aligns with us so that that was kind of the the natural maturation of it for us you know what i'm saying like we're we're self-made you know what i'm saying we're majority black owned things of that nature so who else who better to partner with than you know the kind of the originators of that and like from what we know you know from what we grew up we were all born in the 80s you know except chris chris was born in 1990. rory i'm older than rory dog you are is this true? It's my little brother, bro. <laughs> Keep telling you that, man. By one month, bro. <laughs> my birthday Monday, dog. <laughs> yo, Rory, you want you? To, yo, it's my OG right here. That's you know what I'm saying? It's my little brother, I'm a, man. I'm gonna beat up my OG. <laughs> He's too. But this is this is great, though, man. And this is why we got Chris Styles. Topic of mind. We never get to see you in the interviews, and obviously sometimes, yeah. you know, time and place. But I, when I saw you walk through the hallways, I was like, "Oh, that's Chris Styles. We need to get him <laughs> in the studio." Yeah. So, hey, so tell me about being the performer for all this, man. They fi- you got to keep the energy up along with this guy right here. <laughs> they finally let me out the house. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your ankle, guys. <laughs> Bro, they, they finally let me out. You know what I mean? No, nah, man. Um, For me, I, I say this all the time. Like, any interviews that I've done, um, these dudes is like my heroes always. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And um, when I asked Ken for the opportunity to uh, come aboard, um, I think they was about a year in. Mm-hmm. Um, He was just like, yo, man, just come in the room and just like, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do. And... It wasn't like a oh this my little bro fuck with him you know what I'm saying it's like right. it's either dudes gonna fuck with you or they not you know what I'm saying show and prove yeah so um and I actually appreciate that because I was allowed the opportunity to earn my spot and not just be you know somebody that yo right because it's my family make sure he good you know what I'm saying so mm-hmm. um just bringing myself to everywhere I go especially on that stage leaving it all out there and you know what I'm saying it's what I love to do. Um, you know, I'm just happy that I found a job within it. Nice, man. We out here show right here on Shade 45. It's the homie Gray Rizzo. We got the participants, the owners, the partners for Duce Palooza. Rory, What's talk up, to me, man. Like, you know, I see you all the time at all these different events. Obviously, you know, you're, you're a guy that particularly yeah, isn't... 
a couple of different places <laughs> and real. stuff. What is it like to be behind the scenes? Because I know the pressures of it. You know, a lot of people hitting you up all the time. Last second, they want to be in this type, this type of event. Mm-hmm. What the fuck you got to deal with on a day to day with something as successful as this? I mean, it's a, it's a lot of bullshit at the end of the day because it is an open bar party. Mm-hmm. So you put five thousand people in an open bar, Shit it tends show. to get a little crazy. Yeah, it can get crazy. So while it looks great for low. And Chris to be on that stage. <laughs> I'm crying in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. This is Mister. Right. This is Mister. Get the fuck off the stage. I, right. I be, right. Nigga I, told I me that shit one time. Five right. years. That's my cardio. It's yeah. the Henny Palooza tour. I be oh, running around oh, believe nonstop. me, Chris Styles. I don't think I don't know if um I don't know if you saw it. We were at a Henny Palooza in Atlanta, mm. and I saw Rory, one man army. Like pushing back Yo. all these people, like you gotta get off, you gotta get off, get off, get off. Yo, the nigga kicked it, me off the stage. That's it. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not being funny. You gotta yeah. dance on the floor, baby. <laughs> nigga, get get you, off the stage. <laughs> Meanwhile, your name is on the bill. Yo, this is my shit too. <laughs> Listen, I got Cameron at the bottom of the steps, like. Though I'm, I need to leave, B. Like, I need to perform. <laughs> I'm trying to rip this fucking microphone pause out of, out of Chris's <laughs> hand. Like, dog, give me the fucking mic, bro. <laughs> right, bro, right. it gets crazy. Especially Coney Island, man. It's that, just yeah. so much going on. That was a huge look, though. I man. think somebody spiked my shit. I was I was on Molly in that motherfucker. I don't know what I was on. I was wildin'. You ain't gonna get no sympathy. That shit been running since, like, 78, man. Yeah, Yo, I think somebody spiked my I shit. I think somebody spiked my shit. I was backstage crying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, was, you was proud, man. You was proud. <laughs> low key. Let me let me let me talk to my brother Low Key for a second because there's been a lot of transitions that all of you have made. You most recently, man, like you jumped from the net into like real life. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't do that very well. You know, they hide for the longest the longest time. People will look at it like hiding behind the keyboard, but yeah. you made it work, man. Yeah. What what is it about this event for you that that helped you in the transition for all the stuff that you do right now for, for you know for certain reasons? I'm only gonna talk about certain shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean obviously you know you know Duce Palooza, Henny Palooza, it's put me on a platform to perfect my craft. You know to get me in different eyes, different cities, um, network with a lot of different people, um, gave me the confidence to work in front of thousands of people. Um, and just let me know that I can have fun with my friends and make money and, you know, remove egos. Right. You know, so right. it, it helped me get on that platform of Beats One Radio. It helped me get on that platform for Trap Karaoke. And it helped me get on a lot of different platforms, but it really much started right here. You mm-hmm. know, I found my voice. I found my craft. I found my passion. And I did it with my friends. Right. You know what I mean? So if anyone's out there trying to, you know, find their way through... You know, link up with your boys, link up with your girls, and just find a passion which y'all are, you know, just incredibly crazy about and just make money off it and have fun with it. But have the plan. Yeah, have a plan. Obviously, have a plan. Have and you're going to fail. Plan. Plenty of times you're yeah. going to fail. Yeah. That's what I think a lot of people don't understand about this whole situation. Like, we failed a lot of times. You know, every event wasn't a sellout. Every event wasn't the most popping thing in the city. But, you know, as a collective, we came back and figured out what needed to be done, you know, what needed to be worked on, um, and what, not, what needed not to be touched. So that's why I always love when, you know, we come together and we figure it out. Right. That's the whole thing about anything you work with. You got to figure it out, you right. know, positive or negative. Coming up, NBA All-Star. Yes. L.A. Yes. We are doing a Duce Palooza, and I say we as if I'm getting in. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're doing a Duce Palooza in L.A. Tell me, what day are you doing it? Friday? Uh, Saturday. We Saturday during Sa- the day. Oh, Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Yep, Saturday to Saturday. Saturday. be fucked up on the way to the slam dunk exactly. competition. That's exactly yeah. how you want it. Woo. That's the plan. How can and everybody... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I cut you off. Who, who was about to talk? Oh, no, I was That's Rory. Sorry about that. Why it'll be so great at All-Star Weekend, because there's all those industry events and all those things that people can't get into, more right. or less. This is an event for everybody. Right. Like, everyone will be there. It won't be some industry shit. Mm-mm. It won't be some VIP section people trying to get into. It'll just be... 3,000 people partying together. Right. Yeah. There's some it's some cool shit that everybody could come yeah. to, yeah. which and I think is why like it's going to be one of the better ones that we do. And uh, of course, we'll have some pop-ups as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I, the other thing is, I think, is that's the reason why it makes it so dope. Yeah. Because yeah. you'll see people, I've, I've seen people like stumbling home in the Bronx, mm-hmm. like, yo, we just came from Coney Island, like mm-hmm. it's Warriors or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> they they <laughs> shit, Coney Island to the Bronx? <laughs> the Bro, take, yeah. On the that train. Is, that is some Warriors. They should have got to LA quicker. For real. Luckily, Pause. The D train takes you right to the stop yeah. that they had to get to. The but first I mean, one we did in Wicked Well, I woke up in my car. <laughs> <laughs> like two days later, no what? bullshit. True get story. the fuck out of no here, No bullshit. Man. I just woke up in the car. I'm like, yo. Oh my god, I made it home. 
Man, like, nigga, it's Thursday. What yeah. the fuck? This shit was on Saturday, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it be getting crazy in there, yo. Yo, how can everybody stay in touch? I want them, A, to stay in touch with you guys individually, but most importantly, if they go to be out in L.A. for All-Star Weekend, I want them to show up. So give them the information for everything. Let's start with Chris Styles. Uh... I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to say. Like, yeah, you say your social dot com. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my, my social. Oh, right. pardon me, y'all. Nah, it's all good. Sometimes I got to pardon That's me. what happens when you come out the house. Yeah. Comprehension, y'all. <laughs> That's why they keep me in the crib, son. <laughs> <laughs> they can't read and shit. Nah. So, um, uh, at Chris Styles on um, all social uh, media platforms. You got to spell it out because you know One S, two Zs. Mm-hmm. That's C. H R I S T Y L E Z Z. Trappinganonymous.com. Y'all know what it is. Just find me. You know, there's no G in trapping. And um, yeah, that's it. Cam. Um, at Coolest Kid Out with K's on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow the brand at Duce Palooza on Twitter and Instagram. That's D U S S E Palooza. No spaces, no capitals. And um, DucePalooza.com. If you want to get a ticket, um, I suggest you get it now. They're going fast, and um, we we are expecting to be sold out. And we're looking forward to our first our first show. It's really our first show. Wow. Yeah. Uh, wow, Rory. Uh, socials of this is Rory on everything. DucePalooza dot com. I think Cam pretty much covered everything. Uh, yeah. Low key UH ten on everything, and uh, yeah, Duce Palooza Saturday. All Star Weekend, first of many. Right. Um, shouts to the whole Rock Nation team. Shouts to the big homie, and uh, we ready to go.